Welcome back to the Cozy Cottage Homestead. Today we're going to be cutting open these two large pumpkins and sharing them with the chickens and using it as a natural dewormer. Um, it's actually good for most all farm animals as well. So it's the beginning of the spring, very early spring, but my girls have already started laying their eggs. So I just want to make sure to stay ahead, make sure that they don't have any parasites or any worms or anything. I don't suspect anything like that, but I can tell you I give them pumpkins year-round. That's one of the main reasons why I grow the pumpkins is so that I have natural dewormer for the animals. So I'm going to show you all a really quick process and an easy way that's all natural, very frugal, very minimum ingredients. My chickens have never tried it this way before, but I'm going to try it today and I'm going to bring y'all outside and we're going to see if they like it, if it's as good for them as everyone says it is, and also see if they like it. So I do have a helper today to help me cut these big old pumpkins up and we're going to go ahead and just get to work on them and we'll walk through the process. So all you're going to do is cut the pumpkin straight in half, straight across the middle of it. And then you're going to flip them back up on their sides and you're going to scoop all of the insides out and then I'll show you in a second what to do with them. Alright, y'all see how beautiful those pumpkins are? They are pretty ripe right now. They've been setting for a little while. Let me slide over here so he can get this one. <clears throat> I am going to try to grow some of the orange variety to add some color to my pumpkin garden this year. So we'll see how that goes. That one doesn't seem to be quite as ripe, but it's okay. We dodging our little dots in down here. All right, so you want to put the insides of the pumpkin. Let me give him a spoon and he can help me do this too. Um, the seeds in the insides of the pumpkin, you want to just get those out of there with the spoon and throw them in your blender. Um, the purpose in doing this is Whenever you blend the seeds with a little bit of fresh organic milk, I have some canned goat milk here that I'm going to put in there with it so that it will mix it all up and make it like a smoothie. Um, if the seeds are blended up and broke up really good, it has more properties to help deworm your animals so they get all of the benefit of the pumpkin. Sometimes the pigs and the goats may eat the seeds, but the chickens have a harder time eating it and the ducks and the guineas. So um, I'm just going to do like I've seen the book say and put them in the blender with some milk and clean out the insides of the pumpkin with the spoon. And we're going to blend it up. And then we're going to take y'all outside and we're going to see if they enjoy it. And then after they eat on the slushy part, or the smoothie part, with all the good benefits and properties in it, they can peck on the outside and the inside of the pumpkin and have them a really good tasty treat. And if I wanted to save these seeds, I could save these seeds, but as y'all know, I've been giving away seeds and roasting seeds and doing all kinds of stuff with seeds. I don't have enough room over here. I'm scared I'm going to knock something over. I'm not used to my blender being right here. And of course my hands are giving me fits today. So I definitely needed a helper. And 
and it doesn't have to be perfectly cleaned out because the chickens are going to finish that flourish anyway. So, but you want to get all of those good seeds and all those insides so that you can blend it up in your blender. And you will have a happy, healthy flock of chickens. go ahead and give my milk a good shake. This is our fresh canned goat milk. Tastes like it has cream cheese in it. It's so rich and so good. So I'll go ahead and add that to our blender. I don't know if I'll need the whole quart, but I'll put a little bit and see how that does. Yes, I'll be patient and wait till he gets that last little bit in here. I think that's probably good. All right, let's go ahead and give this a blend and see how it turns out. I think we have enough liquid in there. I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff picked up and we will be bringing y'all outside. Alright, we are in the noisy barnyard area. Let's try out these pumpkins. See if they like the puree smoothie that we're going to dump inside of it. Y'all see that? Even the guineas are enjoying it.
I don't know what y'all think, but I think this was a winner winner. Oh, no chicken dinner. Just make some more beautiful, healthy chickens and beautiful eggs. Now let's go check out the goats and give them a snack and give the piggies a snack too. All right, let's see. I know the girls like pumpkins. We have just chopped some of them up smaller so that it is easier for them to eat on and they are going crazy for the pumpkins. We know they love the pumpkins. We give them pumpkins probably four or five times a year. I hear the piggies cutting up over there. That's a big old bowl of pumpkins right there. You can tell who's bald. Miss Frex just gets a bite straight from the bowl. Such a beautiful girl. Oh, Miss Napoli wants you to hand her one. Oh, she's not quite sure. Hello, Miss Maple. All right, Mr. Smokey and the piggies. I don't know if they know what pumpkins are yet, but I know Smokey does. I think they're getting plum excited. Let's try it and see. Oh yes, they're in love. Healthy, nutritious treat for the animals. Multiple benefits of feeding your animals pumpkins. Oh, look at Miss Molly over there by herself. Let me see if I can move y'all around. She's kind of standoffish. So there you have it. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks to all the new subscribers. If you are looking for a natural and healthy, non-toxic, non-chemical way to naturally deworm your farm animals and also a bonus, it gives them a healthy snack, try the pumpkins. I think you'll be surprised at how well your animals enjoy them and how healthy it makes your animals. So happy homesteading and farewell homestead family, friends, and neighbors from the Cozy Cottage Homestead.